Hello friends, Teacher Sam here. Today we delve into the inspiring journey of George, a beacon of resilience, resourcefulness, and unyielding perseverance. George was on a mission, a mission to master the English sentence structure, and he did so with flying colors. But no journey is ever a straight road. There are bumps, twists, turns, and sometimes even roadblocks. In George's story, you'll find that learning doesn't just happen in the classroom or from textbooks. It's about rolling up your sleeves, diving in headfirst, and not being afraid to make mistakes. It's about finding resources in unexpected places and never letting setbacks define you. Most importantly, it's about picking yourself up, dusting off the dirt, and saying, I can do this. So without further ado, let's journey into George's world, where every challenge is but a stepping stone to success. Just like many of us, George's initial encounters with English sentence structure were challenging. As we delve into George's early struggles, we find a tale not uncommon to many language learners. English sentence structure, with its complex rules and numerous exceptions, seemed like an insurmountable mountain to George. He grappled with the intricacies of subject-verb agreement, the subtleties of tense usage, and the enigma of the passive voice. There were times when George felt like he was navigating a labyrinth with no exit in sight. He would construct a sentence, only to realize it didn't sound quite right. Or he would spend hours trying to understand why a particular sentence was structured the way it was, only to end up more confused than when he started. These setbacks were disheartening, and it felt like every step forward was accompanied by two steps back. But, amidst these struggles, something remarkable was happening. George's determination was growing. Each setback, each moment of confusion was not a sign of failure but a challenge to be overcome. He was not content with just getting by or relying on automated translation tools. He wanted to master English sentence structure to be able to construct sentences with the same ease as a native speaker. And so George pushed on. He pored over grammar books, dissecting sentences, analyzing structures. He made flashcards, filling them with examples of different sentence structures. He practiced daily, writing and rewriting sentences until they felt right. There were days when progress seemed slow, when the mountain of English sentence structure felt just as tall as when he started. But George was not deterred. He knew that learning a language is not a sprint, but a marathon. It's not about how quickly you can reach the finish line, but about the journey itself, the knowledge gained, the skills developed, the confidence built. And so, with each passing day, George's understanding of English sentence structure grew a little more, his confidence a little stronger. Yet George refused to be defeated. His resilience was just gaining momentum. As we move into the next chapter of George's journey, we'll see how this momentum carried him through the challenges that lay ahead. There came a turning point in George's journey where he decided to take matters into his own hands. No longer content with merely fumbling through, George resolved to hone his English sentence structure skills. He knew the journey wouldn't be easy, but he was determined to rise to the challenge. George began by scouring the internet for resources. He stumbled upon grammar books, interactive websites, and language learning apps. He even unearthed a treasure trove of online forums, where language learners like him gathered to exchange tips and experiences. It was a virtual goldmine of information, and George was ready to dig deep. But George knew that finding resources wasn't enough. He needed to put what he learned into practice. So he started writing in English every day. He journaled about his day, wrote letters to imaginary friends, and even attempted a few short stories. He made mistakes, of course. Lots of them. But, with each error, he learned something new. He also understood the importance of reading in improving his sentence structure. So, he immersed himself in English literature, devouring everything from novels to newspapers. He'd underline unfamiliar words and phrases, dissect complex sentences, and then try to reconstruct them in his own words. It was a challenging exercise, but it gave George a deeper understanding of how English sentences were structured. George's approach was systematic and disciplined. He set aside a specific time each day for his language learning activities. He tracked his progress, celebrated his victories, and learned from his mistakes. It was a grueling regimen, but George was undeterred. He knew that consistency was key to mastery. He also sought feedback. He shared his writings with native English speakers online and asked for their inputs. He welcomed their critiques, however harsh they might be. For George, every piece of feedback was an opportunity to learn and improve. George's efforts were starting to pay off. His sentences were becoming more coherent, his vocabulary was expanding, and his confidence was growing. But he knew he still had a long way to go. George's efforts were starting to pay off, but the journey was far from over. 
Despite his progress, George faced numerous challenges along his path. Each one was a mountain to climb, a test of his determination and resilience. But with each challenge, he found new ways to tackle them head on. One of the biggest hurdles was mastering complex sentence structures. Advanced grammar rules seemed like a maze. The more he delved into it, the more intricate it became. But George took it as an opportunity to stretch his understanding. He dissected every rule, every sentence until he understood the very essence of it. His resourcefulness was his guiding light, leading him out of the maze of complexity. Another challenge was the fear of making mistakes. The fear of being judged by others held him back. But George realized that mistakes were not a sign of failure, but stepping stones to success. He started to embrace his errors, learning from each one and using them to refine his sentence structure. This shift in mindset was a triumph in itself, paving his way towards greater proficiency in English. Time was another adversary. With a full-time job and a family to take care of, George had to squeeze in his learning sessions whenever he could, but he was undeterred. He used every spare moment, whether it was during his commute or late into the night, to practice and improve. With each challenge he overcame, George's confidence soared. His sentences became more coherent, more sophisticated. His ideas flowed naturally and he could express himself more effectively in English. He was no longer just a learner, he was becoming a proficient English speaker. But the triumph was not just in his improved sentence structure, it was in the self-belief he cultivated, in the resilience he demonstrated, and in the perseverance that carried him through. Each challenge was an opportunity for growth, and George seized them all. George's journey serves as a testament to what resilience, resourcefulness, and perseverance can achieve. His story is a reminder that no challenge is insurmountable if you're willing to face it head on. George's story is one of determination, hard work, and self-improvement. He began with struggles and setbacks, but his resilience never wavered. He faced each challenge head on, using resourcefulness to find new ways to better his English sentence structure. His journey wasn't easy, but with perseverance, he achieved his goal. George didn't just improve his sentence structure overnight. He practiced, he learned, he stumbled, but he kept going. He utilized various resources, from books to online platforms, to build his skills brick by brick. His story is a testament to the power of diligence and the value of self-learning. This journey of George's isn't unique to him, it can be your journey too. Like George, with the right mindset and tools, you can vastly improve your English sentence structure. Remember, like George, you too can improve your English sentence structure. Don't forget to check out the link in the description to grab your copy of my ebook where I teach all the steps on how to improve your English sentence structure fast by yourself.